Well, good morning to one and all. It is Tuesday, and by now you know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 33 of our F122 Mighty and Crew mode with Team Chase Liner, Jacqueline Levine, and Guan Yu Zhou. And it is time to head to Canada. With this shortened season, we missed out to uh, Monaco and Azerbaijan, and that's probably for the best because, well, Monaco and Azerbaijan. As you can see, hopefully, we're going to get some uh, good stuff in before Canada. And if we do, brilliant, because that will uh, really help us out in our fight against uh, everyone else. I think we can take, can we take a new engine? I'm sure we can take a new uh, engine. Sponsors are all looking uh, bright and happy. Well, I say that uh, they look bright and happy. Then again, you don't know. It's uh, it sponsors, unfortunately. What what can you uh, what can you honestly tell from the sponsors anyway? Let's look at the championship, shall we? And Carlos Sainz he leads the way from Max Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton, Carlos. Sorry, Hollywood Lance Stroll, George Russell, and Jackie holding down in P9 with Esteban Ocon P10. Team Chase Line a P6 in the team championships. Look at the rest of them here. All the way down to Guan Yu, bring it up the rear. But the way we look at it, that we have the most important position. We have points and we have someone at the rear. What could go wrong there? Right, let's go. Stuffses. We have stuffses. That's what we uh, okay, love to we'll see. We love stuffses. We haven't had all the new parts yet. Oh, will you please stop asking me this question? Thanks for stepping in. I beg you. Please, you're killing me with that question. You honestly do. We have more stuffsies, which is brilliant for Canada. Our new parts have completed. If you ask me that, I swear to God, I'm going to throttle someone. An upcoming news I swear to God, I'm about to, I'm about to lose it with someone. Because they keep asking me the same goddamn bloody question. Oh, we are getting loads of stuff. I think have we got them all? Okay, we've had the new Oh my, here comes that question again. Process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. <laughs> what part of we can't fight these thanks. guys? Do do they not I understand? The time to Please, help seriously, somebody tell me. Oh dear. Gearbox, that means we got everything. Fantastic. They'll be on the car that is what we're talking weekend. about. We are absolutely talking about all the stuff. And when we get all the stuff, that's that's what happens, generally. Right, can we get... Well, we got 1,589 resource points. Can we get something on the go? Uh, oh, I tell you what. Having that Halo upgrade might be a good idea. If we don't rush it, we'll get it for Hungary. If we do rush it, there's a chance we get it for the British Grand Prix next round. I'm a gambler. You you know me by now, guys. I'm a gambler. Let's do it. Let, let's try and get... Worst case scenario, we get it for Hungary. That's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario... Well, you've seen the best case scenario. And then what we might try and do is try and get that in for the British Grand Prix. Try, anyway. Can you imagine those upgrades on our car? That would make us, that would be sick. But anyway, I've rabbited on a lot too much now because uh, you all want to get down to the nitty and the gritty. So uh, we'll get to practice and we'll get qualified and we'll see you on the start line for the Canadian Grand Prix. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Hello and welcome to the Ile Notre Dame once again for what promises to be another incredible Canadian Grand Prix at this fiercely competitive circuit where pole position can often be decided by less than a tenth of a second. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula 1 calendar. There are 14 corners in total with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle and average speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. The governess lines up on pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have... Ricardo, 
Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, and Perez. Sainz, Hamilton, Ocon, and Pierre Gasly. Sonoda, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, and Magnussen. Stroll, Schwartzman, George Russell. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Guan Yu Zhou. Yuri Vips, Albon, Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And with me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Uh, no nothing, Mark? Nothing? Really nothing? All right, then. Well, uh... If you've got nothing, we've got plenty to say because it's her first ever pole in uh, F1, baby. Get the fuck in there. She was brilliant out there today. Absolutely brilliant on Saturday. And hopefully she could be equally as brilliant when it comes to uh, the race because uh, her race pace on the, um, on the practice programs was immense. But uh, to have this view and to have control of the field going into uh, the first corner... I think you can uh, all agree that uh, this might be one heck of a race for her. Let's go and uh, try and bring home a W. <laughs> right, there okay, we go. That, that, that sounds, uh, that sounds like a lot better. I, 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 would, I would think now. it's a lot Make better. Sure but uh, well. We'll, we'll see as we, uh, we get through this, uh, this recording uh, right now. So, pole position. I do have to say it was a very unexpected pole position as well. Uh, it wasn't one of those that you know come out of uh, come out of nowhere and uh, it, it, it just surprised me. It literally did surprise me because ar around this track she was just phenomenal. She, she that lap she she put in. I. I do not understate that lap that uh, she did. That lap was phenomenal. It was, it was literally. Uh, there are no words that can uh, describe how good that lap was. And and it was. It was an absolutely stonking lap. See that that's the um, that's the thing that uh, I don't think a lot of you realise. When she puts in a lap, she goes and she puts in a lap. She doesn't uh, do it for the fun of it. She doesn't do it for her own entertainment. She just goes out there and she puts in a lap. Which you have to appreciate, I think, because you, you know, you just, it's just what you have to appreciate. I mean, if, let, let me know in the comments as well. I know we're bringing you qualifying for the F1 manager career mode. But do you want to see qualifying in this game as well? Let me know in the comments and I will I will listen to you guys. If you want to see qualifying, see how qualifying goes, I'll um I'll bring in qualifying. It might mean the videos are a little just a little bit longer. Probably about five, ten minutes longer. But nothing, uh, oh dear me, she got okay, a little bit uh, <laughs> too eager on the throttle as we go to the five red lights here at the uh, circuit. Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix and five lights are out and it's off and underway. And Jackie does get a fantastic start from uh, pole position. She'll be into the first corner first, the two McLaren side by side. You've got the Ferrari and the Red Bulls uh, side by side in two by two formation. But uh, the only thing that matters is that uh, Pink 69 or as uh, my friend the homie RJ says, Pinky number 69. In fact, we're gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get some merch made. Hashtag Pinky69. How does that sound for a merch idea? All royalty be sent uh, to the homie RJ. <laughs> hey, gotta, gotta keep the home girls happy, haven't we, RJ? Gotta keep the home girls happy. Oh, uh, absolutely. Oh, there's a bit of beating and banging there between um, Jackie. I think that's Ricardo in uh, P2. Can I get a look at that number? It's either number three or a number four. 
I don't, not entirely sure which one it is, but it's uh, one of the two as we head down into the hairpin and in through the hairpin and be up the long back straight uh, past the St. Lawrence Seaway, which is now on your uh, right. As you look at it, Will, she'll now be on your left. I think you can just about make it out through the uh, through the catch fence there as the two McLarens are still side by side, heading up to uh, Champion Chicane. There's a reason why we call this uh, Champion Chicane. A lot of champions have met their demise through... Oh, my God, they are literally all over the shop and all over the place as we finish lap number one. And uh, still, Pinky69 is uh, out in the lead. Meanwhile, let's look at uh, this fight here that happened just as we were crossing the line to start lap number two between Fernando Alonso and Sergio Perez. This is going to be for P4 on the track. And uh, Alonso is uh, really, really... I don't know what it is, but recently Alonso has been really struggling. And speaking of really struggling, we've got George Russell down in P16 here. Uh, trying to uh, pass Robert Schwartzman. But he's having uh, his own little fight with uh, the Williams in front of him. Of, uh, I don't know who that uh, Williams is. It's Nicholas Latifi. And Schwartzman is going past Latifi as one of the uh, Haas cars passes uh, George Russell. Or attempts to pass George Russell, I would say. And the hometown favourite, Nicholas Latifi, side by side with the Russian down the St. Lawrence Seaway. Straight. And the inter championship decade of Robert Schwartzman, the uh, reigning and defending F2 champion takes P16 as uh, we've got Lando Norris going around the outside and Jackie into the hairpin. Don't do uh, no, You don't want to do that. Right. Battery. Defense. We did this a lot in Miami. Defense. Defense. We, we do like uh, a good defense. Oh my, oh my God, Summit flew off there. What flew off there? Well, I think that answers that question. It was off Lando Norris. Jesus Christ, that must have been a bit of end plate that uh, flew off and flew into the air. As uh, we go to uh, Alex Albon down in P20 with Mick Schumacher. I tell you what, guys. Mick Schumacher is getting the absolute bum end of the deals with every team he's going to. He's getting absolutely bum end of the deal. He... I... I see... <clears throat> There's Guan Yu Zhou behind him in P22. It, Guan Yu is not working. We've done all this good stuff for Guan Yu and it's not working. I honestly think we need to replace Guan Yu at the end of the season. And I'm looking at uh, one of the two drivers that might replace him right there. Either uh, Alex Albon or Mick Schumacher. Personally. Anyway, on to lap number three, and uh, we got a fight going between... Uh, oh, I tell you what, it was between Ricardo and Jackie, but in fact, Max Verstappen's going to stick his nose in where it didn't belong. What then, uh, son? Look, oh, what a great view through the halo of uh, this fight for P2. And while they fight for P2, Jackie's going to scamper off into the distance, and Verstappen takes P2, and that's one car we didn't want to see in uh, P2. As we go to Alonso, who's still got Sergio Perez uh, all over his rear end. And uh, the Stella fights go between Verstappen and Ricardo as they head down uh, the back straight. Oh, and Perez has uh, pounced here. Perez has pounced. we got almost three, four wide going into turn seven and eight. I think that's turn seven and eight. Not, uh, not entirely sure. There's still two or three wide. Alonso's using uh, Ricardo here is, uh, to try and get past. But, uh, oh, Perez! Perez with a dive bomb on. Uh, oh, my God. They, they are literally two by two by two. Perez who was trying to dive bomb his teammate. What is going on there? Literally, I don't think anyone knows uh, what's uh, going on there. As, uh, Hamilton has now snuck past Fernando Alonso as well, and they're down the St. Lawrence Seaway together, fighting for P5. Into Champion Chicane they go, and Alonso's going to take that very nicely. It's almost as if Hamilton uh, had lost a step there, but uh, I think uh, discretion was the better part of uh, Valor as we move on to uh, this fight for P9 between Yuki Tsunoda and Matt Oscar Piastri, who's another driver I've got uh, my eye on. Great, uh, talented driver. And Yuki Tsunoda, uh, who's going around the outside of uh, Pierre Gasly. This is uh, this now is for P9 with uh, Piastri and P11. So the two Alpha Tauris side by side. I think uh, P Gasly, the man Gasly, has got uh, the better of that fight. Meanwhile, moving a little further, we move a little further on. This is uh, on to lap number six. Nothing happened for a couple of laps. And Jackie is uh, being hounded by that Red Bull of Max Verstappen. You don't want to hound her too much. Let me uh, let me assure you. In fact, she's been hounded so much, it's uh, in, 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 in. 
I think this this here is the perfect time. Get her in now, and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a lap to uh, warm these. Uh, what is Tiamat Marduk doing on the Red Bull pit wall? I I just said that there. What was uh, that all about? Yeah, if, if you also um, don't know, they used a lot of the massive YouTubers, F1 YouTubers, as uh, facial models in uh, in this game for certain pit crews. So you'll see uh, Tiamat Marduk, you'll see Arava, uh, Tomo F1, I think he's uh, someone else you'll see, as uh, we look at Daniel Ricciardo. Now this is going to be an interesting uh, pit stop if he's uh, coming in, because I think I've seen the McLaren guys ready, and they are, he is coming in. Oh my God, he locked it up big time there, going into the pit lane. He locked that up uh, massively, as uh, he had goes into a sea of orange and blue oh and he's been held up by the alpha towery now we we got to keep an eye on uh, the left slash right to watch for a pink flash going past uh where is it well, i think she's gone yeah because there's uh there's norris yeah she was she was uh she was gone she was gone a long long time ago meanwhile jackie's jackie's called up to joe get out the way Get out of the way, you're on different strategies for cry. Oh, Mark, you didn't just do that. Yeah, she just showed her displeasure at that one. She really showed her displeasure at that one. I won't uh, play the radio of what uh, what she said, but uh, it, it, it's not broadcastable. Let's, uh, let's put it like that. As we move on to lap nine and George Russell still having trouble getting past Robert Schwartzman here for P17. Oh, and he's cut the track. But uh, he's going to get uh, get away with that one. Oh, that, I loved that transition. That looked uh, awesome there as we now move to Jackie, who has... No, this is uh, Guan Yu, sorry. Guan Yu's uh, fighting with Lando Norris. And, uh, yeah, as you thought. Fucking Lando Norris just walked past Joe like he's standing... You, I'm sorry, Joe. I'm telling you now, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You, you are absolute... If you let... If you let Perez pass you now, you're fired. I'll fire you at the end of the season and you can go back to mediocrity. Because uh, I thought this was a, a great experiment to have, but uh, it turns out you are, you are useless. You are absolutely useless. Or at least you're defending. That, you're making it work for it, that's something. But you are, oh, you are useless, Guan Yu Zhou absolutely sodding useless and you're gonna let uh, that other car behind you pass now aren't you you're gonna let ricardo through you you useless yeah that's it i've had enough of you i've had enough of you you're gone at the end of the season speaking of uh gone verstappen is uh finally into the lane he's got a lot longer on mind you he has the medium tires on so will he go to a set of softs he's gone to i can't no he's gone to a set of hards I do not understand that strategy at all. See, there he is, look. Tiamat Marduk's on the Red Bull pit wall. Why? What's he doing on the pit wall? Why does it look like it's raining in pit road? And uh, there's Jackie. I think that's Jackie, is it? Uh, yes, that's uh, that's uh, Pinky69. And uh, it's uh, time to resume pleasantries, uh, I would say. But let's move on to lap number 11 of the... Uh, Canadian Grand Prix absurd. Esteban Arcon's the big winner here because he has snuck up very nicely as uh, the Frenchman. There's a guy to keep an eye on. Esteban Arcon. He's, uh, ke he's just ke he's one of those drivers. He's kept his nose clean. He's kept his head down. Okay, he's just lost P5 to Sergio Perez, but I've got a feeling he might try and get that back down the St. Lawrence Seaway here. Let's have a gander at uh, this move. Oh no, it's uh, going to be Ricardo that's uh, putting the move on him. Oh, there might be a little uh, corner cut there. But uh, it's, he's definitely one to keep an eye on. I think so, anyway. What, what do you all think? He, he just goes uh, about his uh, business. The only problem is, I think if we take Ocon, we might have to change uh, engine supplies to uh, Renault. And I don't really want to change to Renault because they are gutless. 
they are gutless and they are talentless as uh, this this fight between the two Ferraris is heated up that's um, Alonso and uh, Sainz uh, having a fight with each other what are we looking at here oh, we're, look, we're looking at um, Leclerc going very slowly what's going on with Leclerc is this a retirement for Charles Leclerc I don't know what's uh, what's going on here. I'm trying to look. Uh, I'm trying to look and see what uh, what's going on, and I can't really uh, see. I really can't see what uh, what is going wrong with Charles Leclerc here. It. Oh, there, there's the problem. They're right from right from puncture. Oh, they're. He got a right front puncture. That's the problem. Oh, that bad to worse. This season's gone bad to work. Should we go rescue Leclerc from Alfa Romeo? Can you imagine that partnership? Jackie and Leclerc at the chase liner. That would be an amazing partnership as uh, we see Sonoda on uh, lap uh, number 12 going around the outside of Hollywood Land Stroll in his uh, home race side by side up the St. Lawrence Seaway I tell you we, one person we never will have in our team is Hollywood Land Stroll we don't want uh, daddy to be uh, very disappointed with us meanwhile moving on to lap number 14 nothing much has happened and uh, you can see that uh, Chase Liner 69 has uh, got some company in the form of uh, Max, uh, Maximus uh, Verstappen and oh my God, more from has uh, disappeared. What on earth happened there? Did that come off Verstappen? Did that come off Jackie? Oh my word! I think I think though it came off uh, Verstappen because um, nothing much happens on the uh, last lap. To the, this is the last lap of the Grand Prix. Um, she did. Re we did see some uh, bodywork damage from Verstappen, but uh, nothing to the significance of what happened to Verstappen. He's actually had to pit for a new front wing. But uh, this is this is what we are going to title our victory lap. Because yeah, he, he's coming. Uh, you can see Lando Norris coming very quickly, and that's all because of the uh, the bodywork damage to uh, the side of her car. Thanks, Verstappen. Now, you, you may have just uh, seen it. Uh, very briefly if they give us the right shot at the uh, the hairpin down here coming we'll uh, we'll show it to you nicely um, yeah they don't give us the right shot uh, what a shock there but oh he's coming quickly I'd be clenching those cheeks very hard right about now but uh, I think uh, it's safe to say she's got this as she heads down the St Lawrence Seaway for the final time Norris doesn't have uh, DRS and so ladies and gentlemen for the second time this season Oh, you better believe it, folks. It's going to be another victory for the Chase Liner. Come on! Come on, she, she was beautiful out there today. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, don't think she'd be driver of the day. No, Lando Norris was the driver of the day. Uh, who made that decision, I wonder? have been the finest race in history but there's no question it was a critical win so natalie what do you think helped them deliver this result i think that smart tire management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today that combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tires at all times Ha 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 da 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 ha 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 yes girl yeah bring that steering wheel with you yeah she you know do you know the, the um thing about this that what that was now Tiamat Marduk's on the podium where he is getting everywhere what the shit what the shit is going on I'll get a facial model uh, done one day if you're listening Code Masters. I'll uh, gladly have a facial model done for this game. Everyone will be able to play and uh, I'll be there. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot, didn't I? <laughs> I almost forgot uh, a little clip right about now. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly.
let's review the driver's standings. Carlos Sainz extends his lead at the top, getting ever closer to securing the championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? I think for driver of the day, I'd probably pick Lando Norris. He lived up to every inch of his reputation today, and I think he'll be going home, quite rightly, a bit proud of himself. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. No change in the top spot then, but with today's points, their hold on that lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, Alpine move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, that was certainly an exciting weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula One action very soon. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you there, Crofty. I'm uh, ready for the next one uh, right about now. Jack will in Harriet, Chase Levine. Two-time winner, folks. That's what uh, we are talking about. She takes victory in the Canadian Grand Prix from Lando Norris, who came very close at the end there. Sergio Perez, Daniel Ricciardo, Esteban Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz, Pierre Gasly, Lewis Hamilton, and Oscar Piastri picking up a point for the Haas team. Good effort there from uh, Piastri. Let's take a look at the rest of them here. Yeah, Guan Yu finished P18, P20 from P18. Not acceptable, I'm afraid. Back, actually, Verstappen did not finish. I did not see uh, that uh, happen at all. I, I, I went back through the replay and I, I didn't see Verstappen DNF, so I don't know what um, what on earth happened to Verstappen. Was it just a mechanical failure? No, it wasn't even a mechanical failure. He just retired. That's uh, very interesting. But yeah, definitely Joe is fired at the end of the season. He won't be staying around. But uh, who do we replace him with? Well, she uh, she had us go in there for uh, a little bit, but thank the Lord she brought that one home. Oh, it was it was all looking so easy, and then along comes Max Verstappen doing Max Verstappen things when he really shouldn't be doing those kind of things. He he went up against the best, because let, let's be honest, she is the best, and um, he found out what that was like, and it was like um, yeah, a sucker punch right into the the gut. So, uh, ergo, Mr. Verstappen, you may, uh, yeah. You, you, I think we're all, we all know what I'm about to say there, don't we? Don't we, guys? Come on. Our Let's be completely honest. Minutes. We all know what I'm about to say there. Where we can right, oh, will you piss off with this marketing thing, for goodness sake. <sighs> I'm just gonna start giving fuck you answers. How's that sound? Ian's going to wake up uh, on the next one on Friday and choose death. <laughs> and it'll be the death of the marketing department that uh, that happens. I mean, why are you asking that stupid question? So, somebody tell me why. I, I don't even think they uh, they know why. Right, let's get some sim training going. I think that's it then. Is that all we can uh, really fit in? Yeah, I think, I think that's all that we can fit in. Sometimes, you know, they say less is more. Well, in that case, less is more. Hopefully, hopefully we get... There she is, up to P6. That's a lot better. Leapfrogged uh, a lot of people. And, uh, oh, look at Guan, Guan Yu getting the old uh, finger out there. 81 rated is Guan Yu. He is starting to show signs. He is starting to show the signs, and that's what uh, impresses me the most. Anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you all uh, did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We will see you on Friday for the next round of the uh, championship around uh, Silverstone. See you tomorrow for F1 Manager 22. In the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. You can't be kind, quiet. You have no place to do with the cup of people. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.